All right, so here we go. We've got some pretty huge developments to talk about today, starting with the MV a pivotal milestone that's essentially setting the stage for what's coming next in the world of AI and computing. The horizon is looking incredibly exciting. In fact, we're already planning for the second half of next year, which will mark the launch of something truly extraordinary Rubin Ultra. This week at NVIDIA's GTC 2025 conference, held in San Jose, California, NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, revealed some mind-blowing advancements that are going to redefine the way we process data, accelerate AI, and think about computing on the grand scale. I'm talking about the unveiling of the Vera Rubin GPU, a powerful new chip named after the renowned astronomer Vera Rubin. This GPU is expected to launch in the second half of 2026, and let me tell you, it's going to be a game changer. This thing will come with a monstrous 288 gigabytes of memory and will be paired with a custom-designed NVIDIA CPU, Vera. The performance improvements it's set to bring are going to completely outclass its predecessor, Grace Blackwell, particularly when it comes to tasks like AI training and inference. Now, we're not just talking about one impressive release here. Jensen also introduced the Vera Rubin Ultra, which is slated for a 2027 release. If you think Vera Rubin is groundbreaking, wait until you see what Vera Rubin Ultra has in store. We're talking next-level computational power. It's set to be even more powerful and scalable, with specs that will ensure this chip is one of the top players in the AI field for years to come. When we're talking about the future of AI, Vera Rubin Ultra is going to be at the forefront of that revolution. And that's really what NVIDIA is doing here. It's not just about performance, it's about being ahead of the curve, continuously driving innovation. Every chip, every system they design is about taking AI capabilities to the next level. What they're doing is preparing for a future where AI becomes the engine driving industries, research, and innovation. But let's break this down a bit further. When we talk about the Vera Rubin GPU, Jensen highlighted that this chip will deliver a mind-boggling 50 petaflops of FP4 inference per chip. That's per chip, folks. And when you install it in an NVL144 rack system, you're looking at 3.6 exaflops of FP4 compute. That's 3.3 times more powerful than anything NVIDIA has done before with the Blackwell Ultra system. What makes this really revolutionary is how Vera Rubin integrates with the Vera CPU, a custom ARM-based chip designed to handle massive workloads. With 88 ARM cores and 176 processing threads, this CPU is capable of handling huge amounts of data and processing it faster than ever before. And here's the kicker, it's all connected by a 1.8 terabyte per second NVLink interface. That's an incredibly fast and efficient connection between the CPU and GPU, making sure data can be transferred at lightning speeds and processed with zero bottlenecks. Now, let's talk about the Vera Rubin Ultra, the next evolution in NVIDIA's AI dominance. According to Jensen, this next-gen GPU is going to completely redefine standards of high-performance AI computing. Designed for the NVL 576 rack configuration, the Rubin Ultra will feature four massive processing dies in each GPU, and when fully configured at the rack level, it will offer a mind-blowing 100 petaflops of FP4 performance. That's a 15 exaflop FP4 compute power. We're entering territory where this chip is exponentially more powerful than anything NVIDIA has ever released. And just in case that doesn't sound impressive enough, each Rubin Ultra GPU will come with one terabyte of HBM 4E memory that's 1000.000 gigabytes of ultra-fast memory, not to mention the 365 terabytes of memory in a fully equipped system. The sheer scale and performance of these chips are going to make previous systems look like a relic from the past. With such an incredible leap in performance, this technology will power the most advanced AI models, enabling everything from autonomous vehicles to complex medical research, space exploration, and much more. Now, I know we're all getting excited about what's to come, but let's not forget that we also have some serious upgrades coming soon with the Blackwell Ultra B3, a system that will be launched in the second half of 2025. This isn't just a minor improvement, the Blackwell Ultra B3 is poised to make a huge impact. We're talking about two high-performance processors that will deliver 15 petaflops of FP4 compute power per chip. When you put this into an NVL72 rack configuration, 
The Blackwell Ultra B300 system will deliver 1.1 exaflops of FP4 inference compute, a 1.5x improvement over the previous Blackwell B200 system. This system will come with 288GB of HBM 3E memory, a big upgrade from the 192GB in previous Blackwell models. But here's the important part. NVIDIA isn't just about creating powerful systems for the sake of power. It's about enabling the future of AI and computation. The Blackwell Ultra B3 system is designed to handle the increasingly complex AI models of today and tomorrow. Every new release is all about making sure AI can evolve at the pace of technological advancement. As we look ahead, there's even more to come. The next evolution of NVIDIA's GPU architecture, Feynman, is on the horizon. This is going to be a game changer. It's named after the famous physicist Richard Feynman, and while details are still scarce, we know that it will leverage the Vera CPU and deliver even greater performance. Feynman is set to release in 2028, but it's already shaping up to be a crucial part of the AI ecosystem. And, looking even further ahead, Jensen shared a vision for the future one where data centers become AI factories. Instead of merely processing traditional data, these factories will focus on generating data tokens, which will act as the fundamental unit of processing for AI models. Essentially, data will become a production commodity, and AI will use that data to produce more AI. This vision will shift the way we think about data processing, almost like a factory that manufactures intelligence. And let's be clear here, this is just the beginning. As AI becomes more integrated into every aspect of our lives, we'll see digital agents taking over more and more tasks. By the end of this year, NVIDIA plans to power 10 billion digital agents. These are virtual assistants, tools designed to improve productivity, and specialized AI that will assist in everything from scheduling to advanced decision making. We're talking about a world where AI doesn't just serve us, it enhances every moment of our lives. What does this mean for industries? For healthcare, we're going to see faster, more accurate medical imaging, helping doctors detect diseases earlier and with greater precision. Autonomous driving will take another massive leap forward with Rubin Ultra GPUs, processing sensor data and driving decisions more quickly and accurately than ever before. In finance, these chips will accelerate complex calculations, making fraud detection and trading systems smarter. And in space exploration, these systems will handle the enormous data from telescopes, satellites, and planetary exploration, enabling discoveries that will change our understanding of the universe. This is how NVIDIA is pushing the frontier of AI technology paving the way for tomorrow's innovations, right now. From healthcare to space, from autonomous driving to finance, the Rubin Ultra and Feynman architectures are set to transform industries across the board. So, if you're as excited about this as I am, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the recommended videos to dive deeper into the incredible world of AI and the future we're all building together. Thanks for watching. Let's make the future happen.